We're at Georgia Tech, right behind me there's a group of PhD students and what they've created is a self-driving car that goes off-road. The car is now driving by itself. Yes. It's going around the track, you said six meters, is yeah, six, six meters a second? Six meters per second is the target. So the black plastic body is for protection. This is mostly a stock RC car with interface electronics here uh, that let us talk to and control the motor and the steering. This is our GPS receiver. There's an antenna on top. Tell me a little bit about the origins of this research project. So we are interested in controlling vehicles at the limits of the handling capacity. So uh, the Army was interested in this project uh, because they wanted to control vehicles uh, you know, uh, off-road. And at the time, there were discussions about building autonomous vehicles that, uh, you know, send them to the battlefield and so on and so forth. What we're talking about is trying to go fast, in an unpredictable terrain, yes. that changes. Correct, and that's a challenge. I think if you look at autonomous vehicles, uh, the current state of the autonomous vehicles is kind of, uh, I find it uh, more or less boring to a certain extent. It's not very difficult to have an autonomous vehicle go on a highway and stay in lane. So this is gonna make you go a little bit faster now? Yep. Okay, and... Okay, I see the acceleration, yeah, and then awesome. it looks like it's like it adjusts for that that kind of uh, you know drift, yeah. right? Because when you're going faster, you have a little bit more drift in the turn. Yeah. Some of these maneuvers that we uh, demonstrated, and maybe you have seen in some of the videos, are very difficult to uh, to be executed by uh, novice drivers. Expert drivers are very good at this, and if you look at videos of rally driving and so on, which was our inspiration for this type of work. So instead of training everybody to be able to do these types of uh, maneuvers, we have an alternative solution, and this is a solution is to uh, embed uh, this type of knowledge in a computer program that right. is under the hood, that is actually driving with you. I call it the uh, you know guardian angel, mm -hmm. uh, and then if something happens, then they, it takes over the vehicle momentarily uh, to steer it out of the harm's way. What worries me most is reliability. These uh, vehicles and the sensors that we have in the algorithms are good enough, but we don't know uh, whether they can operate day and night, uh, you know, and dirt and rain and fog and all these things. Even 90% reliability or 95% reliability is not enough for this type of application.